All right. Um, I have 600 grit waterproof sandpaper. <clears throat> Wet sand paper. Uh, I'm going to be sanding down uh, one of my uh, already used propellers. <coughs> I'm going to be sanding down the, a spinner I've already used. Um, this propeller and this spinner are used but they're in really good condition. No crashes on those. I'm going to be sanding down a used cowl too. It's a little little bang though, but I'll sand it down and I'll paint it. That's the first one I use. And I'll be sanding down too a brand a brand new spinner, a brand new propeller, and a brand new cowl. So that way in the future when I need to replace them I don't need to I don't need to paint them again. I don't need to be sanding down all over again. I'll just sand down everything now. Okay. So I have the sandpaper. I've had it soaking for fifteen minutes. Um, the, the, the different parts have been soaking too, but you don't have to soak those. I just did that because just to keep them there. Um, let me s I'm gonna sand down first the spinner. Okay, just sand it down. Give it a good sand. What this what sanding does to these plastic parts is allow the since they're really shiny and very 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 smooth, uh, the paint doesn't stick to it. In fact. It'll barely stick to it until you start flying and then it'll start chipping off and peeling off really, really easy. You need to uh, sand it. Preferably sand it under the water. It's the best way to sand it with this sandpaper. Uh, choose a <coughs> grit that's at least 400. Preferably 600 like this one. Okay. Anything finer really won't do much to this. Just sand it down real good. Okay. Hit the whole surface because anything you miss is going to definitely peel right there. Try to use also a paint that's for plastics. I'm not using a plastics paint, but it'll stick just fine. To Just plastics is a lot better and it'll last a lot longer on plastic. I don't mind. Plastic paint is too expensive. Um. Here's the propeller. Sand this down too. The propeller has uh, already been painted. I'm not really sure what this will do. So I'm not really going to worry too much about that. I'll see the results later. If it doesn't stick well, I can always do it again. Or replace the propeller with 99 cents, anyways. See the paint is starting to really see. The paint is starting to come off right around there. Can't really see it. Camera's focused on my hand. But, you see right there, it's coming off. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on that a little more. See if I could take some more off. And move on to the cow. So I'm moving on to the cow now. This is the used one. has a little bit of a wear and tear in the front and in the bottom. But it has no cracks, no, uh, not saying no dents, it has a little dent there, but it'll be alright. Once I paint it, it's not look that bad. Remember with the cow, it has a lot of different curves and some surfaces with, which are jagged and sharp. So be really careful sanding all that. Make sure you get every single crevice, okay? Again, remember to keep try to keep everything under water works best when there's a lot of water between the two surfaces so the sandpaper and the plastic now keep in mind what you're trying to do here is just to remove the shine the smooth of the surface trying to make it a little rough a little porous so the paint sticks to it okay or else the paint will just, like I said before, just fall off. It's just going to start peeling. Okay. Again, this is the cow. You're not going to need to do the inside. Unless you want to paint it for any whatever reason, which doesn't make sense. But anyways, just whatever you're going to paint, all you need to sand. Okay. 
you can't see it on video I'm sure but this cowl has no more shine to it okay if you see any shine at all right now it's just the water once it dries it's not gonna have any shine at all it's a matte okay it's very flat this cowl is very flat okay I'm done with these I'm gonna move on now